People here in Aklan have no choice but to resort to underground burial as the lone licensed crematorium in Panay Island is still full. The LGU is also scrambling for funds to pay their contact tracers. Two COVID-19 patient, uh, positive patients who died were buried in Calibo Public Cemetery this weekend, including one senior citizen. In compliance with protocols, no rites were conducted and no relatives were allowed to witness the burial. Calibo Mayor Emerson Lachica says he is not comfortable with the present situation because this burial practice demands more manpower that run the risk of more exposure. But Taklan has no choice since the only crematorium in Iloilo is still stacked. Besides from this problem, Aklan Governor Florencio Milo Flores told News 5 that they have no budget for their contact tracers. 74 of its contact tracers will, be st will stop working today after their contract has lapsed. With no tracers, the area will find it difficult to track those close contacts of those who tested positive for COVID-19. Let's listen to Governor Mira Flores. Nagdodoble yung aming, uh, ano to, ang aming problema kasi dapat sana mabilis yung contact tracing, mabilis yung isolation. So what will happen is that i-absorb naman to ng mga ating local governments, eh, wala, namang, wala namang pera yung ating mga LGUs na mag-hire ng contact tracers. So nag-appeal kami sa DILG na kung pwede i-extend yung mga kontrata ng contract tracers dito sa Aklan. Kasi kailangan, kailangan namin sila during this COVID uh, crisis. Opo. John Aklan has uh, imposed stricter border protocols after being placed under the modified enhanced community quarantine status or MECQ. Travel passes are being issued to make sure that only those with essential travel can go in, in and out of the province. Sean? All right, thank you so much for that update and stay safe out there. That was News 5's Romel Lopez joining us live from Talibo, Aklan.